Hello, hello. Welcome back to Flutter course. Today lecture, I will show you how to create a list view in Flutter. If you are new, you can start by this. Start a new Flutter project in Android Studio and select your template as Flutter application and go next. Now you have to provide the your application name. Let's call as list view underscore Flutter. After that, you have to select the Flutter SDK path. If not selected, you have to go here and uh, go the directory that you have with the Flutter SDK. This is my location of the Flutter SDK. This is the one inside my root directory and flutter underscore sdk this is the sdk path ok select that now you can select the project location that means where do you want to save this project let's create a new folder in desktop directory call flutter projects flutter underscore projects ok now go ahead click next now you can provide your company domain I'm going to provide my company domain as psycho.com now you can change the package name if you want finish Now in Flutter projects directory in the desktop folder you can see this project ok. If you are using Mac OS this error may, may occur. You can click cancel. This is still coming. Right. The first step first stage that we have to do is remove all codes available in our main.dart file in project directory in live directory this is the main.dart file by selecting all of these codes we can remove the full code ok after that what we have to do is create a main method to create a main method you have to wait until project is completed to build let's create that first stage main main let me zoom this for you parentheses and at braces inside braces you can call for run app now you will see there is an error to fix this in above you have to import the material.dart file inside single quotations package colon and flutter slash material.dart ok now what we have to do is create a widget after the main method use widget keyword and provide the method name for this we can use anything I'm using get list view after that put parentheses and braces inside braces we have to create a new var for a list view and you should assign that to a new list view add parentheses and inside parentheses better if you can line spaces like this and call for children and colon you can get suggestion 
when you are typing right let's do again children colon this one after you have to put a line space again to understand these lines okay that's why we are adding line spaces then we have to provide the list style it is not list title it is list style okay now you have to put parentheses inside parentheses let's provide the first item as leading which is an icon for the list view we can select the icon from that means uh, at parentheses inside parentheses let's select the icon icons dot landscape okay after we have to provide the title for the list title colon let's use a text and parentheses inside parentheses put the title as you want my landscape title and we can add the subtitle for the list subtitle colon and as a text inside parentheses we can put landscape view right now we have to provide the trading an icon inside parentheses use icons dot let's say it is vb sunny this icon let me show you the preview by exiting the full screen of the android studio and drag it there uh, it's not possible i'm sorry for that uh, vb dot sunny right this icon great now what we have to do is put a saving colon here to in the card now we have to run this widget before run we have to call for material app inside the run app parenthesis ok add parenthesis for material app and add line spaces below you can see the error put the semicolon and inside the material app parentheses you have to quote for a title which required for the action bar let's mention that as uh, exploring UI widgets after you have to provide the home for this directly you are not able to call this because this is a widget for that you have to put the scaffold and add bracket inside this you can call for the this method right to call for this method you have to provide the body colon now you can call this get list view right let's run this draw the xcode ios simulator if you have a android simulator 
or you can also create an android simulator by visiting to tools in the top go to avd manager and create the new virtual device otherwise you can directly run this on your real device in this time i want to launch a ios simulator how we can do that open ios simulator click this in this click open ios simulator make sure you have already installed the xcode in your mac then you can access a ios simulator if not if you are using a windows you can use an android simulator when your simulator come you can click this run icon to run your app let's see how is our app look like this error is coming we can fix that later let's cancel for now after running this app you are not able to see any kind of layout there because yes we have made the body and we have called for this widget but you can see there is a no return statement for this list view that we have made in our last step for that we have to call for return and list view and put semicolon before the end of the curly bracket you have to put the return statement now let's run right in our next lecture i will show you how to add more list items into this list view and how to create a click event for this list view okay see you soon